Today we're taking a look at the XI3 modular computer. It's been called the Steam Box by many, but it is in no way affiliated with Valve. It's not manufactured by them or endorsed by them. Though, I can totally see why it's being called a Steam Box because it would function very well in that fashion. This device was the big story at CES, and we were lucky enough to get our hands on one to do a proper unboxing. As you guys can tell, it's a small box comparative to my hands, and this is a fully functioning computer, so it is quite the feat of engineering. And the reason many are calling it a Steam Box is because it would be right at home underneath your television next to your other consoles. It's small, lightweight, doesn't use a lot of power, and it doesn't make very much noise. The ventilation happens straight through the unit through these two grills that live on each side, so you get a lot of airflow in there. You've got some paperwork included in the unboxing. This is just a quick start guide as well as some warranty information. And then you've got a power brick and to go with that, a power cable. Of course, the power brick is external here. Well, after all, the unit is so small, you wouldn't expect the power brick to be built in. And this is a modular computer as well. So there are some components that are actually upgradable, which is really crazy considering the form factor. This one has a dual-core Athlon processor. It's a 3400E drawing 22 watts of power and has 2 gigabytes of DDR memory. It's available with SSDs starting at 16 gigabytes and all the way up to 480 gigs. On the back is where you'll find all the different ports for all your interface needs. That's where you're going to find your Ethernet port as well as your video ports, display port, DVI. You've got a power input as well as a bunch of USBs over on the right-hand side. You've also got sound in and out, so you are capable of hooking up a headset if you want to use a wired headset with this device. But if you've got it under your television, you probably want to use a wireless USB headset or something along those lines instead. Um, you can also hook up a wireless keyboard and mouse if you want to game on it from your couch, or you can go with one of the Valve or Steam-approved wireless controllers that can be mapped to some of the popular Steam games. Anyways, as you guys can tell, this is an interesting device, unlike some other stuff that's on the market. Maybe it is the world's first Steam box. I mean, if that's the way people are using it. Here you can see what it looks like underneath my flat panel. And uh, hopefully I get a chance to play it real soon here and give you guys a, a better overview of just what it can do.